Time now, 632, a suspect in a serious condition after a standoff ended in gunshots on the northwest side Monday evening. Our Kelsey Anderson joins us live this morning from the scene. Kelsey, what led up to all of this? Well, we're not really sure, but we know that this is a quiet area and not a place that we see a lot of crime. So what we know is that it started actually on that side of Zionsville Road when police were called to a burglary in progress. When they got on scene, they say the suspect then moved across Zionsville Road this way. And as you can see here in the aftermath, there are tire marks in this grass. And if we can zoom in on coaches, driver's education, the window is broken. And we're told that is where the suspect went in and barricaded himself. But before he barricaded himself, police say that he tried to grab an employee, but that employee did get away. And again, that sus suspect barricaded himself inside. And after hours of negotiating, police shot the suspect after he allegedly pointed a gun at SWAT teams. He was taken to the hospital in serious condition and is, and is expected to survive. The officers on scene were not hurt. Now, we do not know the identity of that suspect yet this morning. We're hoping to find that out for you later today. Now, as with any officer involved shooting, the critical incident response team and the Marion County Prosecutor's Office will take the lead on this investigation. We'll keep you updated online and on air as this story continues to develop. Reporting live, Kelsey Anderson, RTV6.